and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube and Puppy <laughs> for some fun Smith burn. We're gonna go ahead and uh, try out the brand new Funsmith. I don't know, you know, brand new, the updated, upgraded Funsmith. Now four mana and a one three instead of five mana and a two three as before. Uh, so this is going to be our first time trying Funsmith. And we're going to be playing it in this burn deck um, here with just, you know, lots and lots of ways to do direct Nexus damage. We got Boom Crew Rookie dealing Nexus damage, you know, a bunch of, of burn spells. Our champions are going to be Misfortune and Gangplank. They both uh, have the ability to do Nexus damage, especially Gangplank whenever it's leveled up. We got Jack the Winner in here, creating Sleep the Fishes. So basically, we're going to be trying to do lots of Nexus damage and then have all of those spells and skills deal an extra point of damage with Funsmith. Basically, Funsmith being a permanent powder keg in play. Use Cast Salesman's in here to do some blocking, um, and uh, it makes some Caustic Casks. Uh, and I believe... I, I don't believe that this will do extra damage with Funsmith. I think it'll still just do one to each Nexus, because I don't think that this is a skill, because usually skills have the little, um, you know, this little symbol, this the skill symbol, and it spells and skills do an extra one. But we'll, we'll see, but I don't think it does. Uh, but anyway, it's still a really good blocker, and uh, we kind of need that with having cards like Boom Crew Rookie that don't really block. Funsmith doesn't really block, so we need a, a good blocker with the salesman is that. All right, so let's give this a try. We're calling this Fun Smith Burn. We're gonna go play five games in ranked. Let's see how we do, pup. Ooh. All right, playing against Frostbite. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing too wrong with this hand. So what's my turn one play? Is it, I guess it's Butcher? Let's mulligan this Crackshot Corsair. Would I rather have Crackshot Corsair as my turn one play? Go Corsair. Because I'm gonna go Corsair into Rookie, and then turn three, I don't I don't know if like Butcher plus Rookie makes a lot of sense on turn three. Cause then, cause turn three I won't have the attack token, right? So the Butcher would just be a, a two two at that point. So I figure we could probably find something else that's better. We of course don't want to see Ice Veil Archer. Victory requires a sharp blade. Well, that thing doesn't block. That's pretty good for us. Getting a nice hit for five in. Tough call whether or not to Mystic Shot the Rhyme Fang Wolf or just play another Boom Crew Rookie. I guess it's Mystic Shot the Rhyme Fang Wolf. Oh, see, so like, this is a tough call because now, like, I guess, I think I just have to attack for two and then play Funsmith afterwards. Because I don't think I play Funsmith first and they play, you know, like, Ash or, like, something that blocks really well. I guess I'd still do two damage, but then we would throw away the crack shot horse there. I just—I hope they don't have another, uh, another challenger, and also I hope they don't have a calling strike. Good. Play those things. Let's make it deep. We're just gonna, just gonna block. Aberosans. Stand together. Yeah, so it still does two damage. That's what I thought. I didn't think it would do any extra damage. Um, yeah. I can do this. Man, what if they have Reckoning? What if I what if I go Funsmith and they play Reckoning? 
Oh man, I guess that would be brutal. I guess just Reckoning in general would be pretty brutal. So maybe I just need to attack. Well, it's not reckoning. Hope this works. Got fired. What did we catch? Like a fish in water. <laughs> okay. Okay. So that's seven damage with the fun smith in play. Block like this. Let's just go to ten. I think ten's pretty safe. It's not exactly legal, but it is exactly awesome. Boo. This will put him down to one. And of course we have the Crack Drop Corsair in play. And they're at one. Our Gangplank's also leveled up. Okay. The Arena fights the Corsair. So it looks like we're going with the Gangplank. Hmm. Really? Fighting the spray thing. I'm pretty sure I could just attack and they die. If I just do this, they just die, right? Yeah. Alright, there we go. GG's. Bunsmith burn. I haven't played against this deck in a little bit. Soraka Tom Kench. Uh, they do a lot of defense, and we do a lot of offense. It'll be a good matchup. We're going to mulligan, make it rain, and I'm thinking about mulliganing Static Shock. I do like that it draws a card. We're definitely keeping Butcher to attack on turn one. We're keeping Sprayfin, of course. Uh, I'm not sure about Static Shock. Let's, let's go ahead and mulligan Static Shock. Uh, static Shock gets a lot better with Powder Kegs and with the... Nothing but the stink um, and, sweat. and basically this this 2-2 two -two is the reason why I didn't want to play Crack Shock Corsair. Um, but we want to find Funsmith. Funsmith does make that Static Shock a lot better. There's Funsmith. Good draw. Okay, we got a lot of fours. Let's get it, crew. Mm, I'll wait on the Dreadway deckhand. I'll wait on that. I'll scrutinize something scrumptious. Something scrumptious. Oh, I don't require a menu. So my best play is to play Funsmith first before attacking. The problem, of course, is they could just they just probably acquire taste my Funsmith immediately. Like the fuse. So attack like that, we put him down to twelve. Captain's orders, bullet to the face. Never mind, put him down to 13. These angry 
for action. Oh, I am Jack. I am. I am. <laughs> I don't really want to use Mystic Shot on the Tom Kench. I want to just, um, you know, just uh, allow them to oh, you're all so cute. capture everything and. Well, you know, if they want to challenge the Powder Keg, that's, that's okay. We'll we'll be fine. We look after our own. But yeah, they're taking Jack the winner. As expected. So this should give me the opportunity to play the Funsmith now. Room well, I guess I should probably use the Sleep of the Fishes, actually, first. Now, before they challenge Powder Keg. That's not my fun smith. That's good. My plan is to play Boom Crew Rookie here, attack with the Boom Crew. I can do this. Boom Crew do three, four, five. I also want, I want to deal their, I want to damage their things as little as possible, of course, to, to try to keep the Star Spring from killing me. They're only at 5 out of, out of 22 right now. So I don't love this Mega Rain. Mega Rain may be the card I discard. Get excited. So what's in store for me? I need time for commune, Tom! This you know! It's four. So we're gonna try to play like Dreadway Deckhand, Dreadway Deckhand. I know desire. By starlight. <laughs> Live with purpose. Take heart. Clear off. Is that 15? So I could get excited them right now, which does four. Um, if I wait, if I play the two Dreadway Deckhands first, it does five. So we're gonna just play the Dreadway Deckhands first. And have it deal five. Oh, good. Uh, ain't nothing left when I'm done. Of course, can acquire taste and eat the powder keg. Yeah, boss. We're all family here. Packed him good. All right, I think we got him. I think we got him. Alright, GG's. 2 0. Okay, our burn deck's looking good. Yeah, they got all that healing and everything over there, but not healing the Nexus enough. Not healing the Nexus enough. 
Yeah, Funsmith looked really good. Funsmith has looked really good both games. It has definitely looked good. Um, let's mulligan get excited. Get excited could be useful, you know, killing their champions. So I guess we just keep it. It's a two. It's you know a self two for one, which I don't love. But sometimes you just gotta kill it like an Ezreal. Misfortune's exciting. Just gonna put this here. Time to go. Interesting. No blocks. It's Draven time. It's like Draven. Do I discard? Like none of these are like really that good to discard. I don't. I mean, you know, like a Boom Crew rookie, I guess. Me had a mystic shot. Through the coral. Time for violence. Hey, buddy, what you doing? I will trade champions if they want to. Because that means that those are trading the champions means I don't need to use the get excited on that and, and you know slow them down a little bit because they are they are pressuring me quite a bit. I want to slow this game down. I was scared of Swain there for a second, and then realized oh wait they're not they're not gonna be playing Swain. <laughs> they're not a Swain deck. I've whipped up something special. Using the powder keg to help slow them down. Save a couple life with it. Clear off. Uh, I can do this. My first big mission. All right, Boom Crew. Yeah, Funsmith with Rex, with Rex is pretty sweet. Uh, we did that right before they changed Funsmith to being a four mana card. We played a deck called uh, Siren Funsmith with the Siren. It went a lot bigger with Siren Rex with Dreadway. That was a pretty cool combination. It's not exactly legal, but it is exactly awesome. Please don't kill my Funsmith. They seem to have a lot of ravenous flocks over there. So we're left with nothing. They're at ten. I'm probably gonna need these get excited to go upstairs. Jack. I'm so good I surprised myself. Time for a true display of skill. I don't like that. Keep up, keep up. Get the spray fin. 
I think I got the spray fin thinking that Get Excited was going to kill Ezreal, but that's obviously not the case. Huh. Because the spray fin's blocking the flame chompers. I'm sorry, Funsmith. Looks like we got out aggroed. Out aggroed. GG's. Okay, another aggro attack. You're almost there, Breeze. You got this. Okay, I love love this the salesman. That card's awesome, and the rest of these work pretty well. Actually, this this just works pretty well. That could be a good card too. Let's get crew. So that's a good hand. No one's the wiser. I've got us covered. Why don't you cost two mana to make it rain? This obviously isn't a good trade with make it rain, but it's probably the trade we have to make. Really hoping we find a Dreadway Deckhand or a Funsmith to have these Mega Rains deal 2 damage. I also don't really know why I played this. <laughs> I was I was so I was so confused, Devil. Uh, Devil said it uh, in the chat. Uh, GF won't support what? I need to know. And I was so confused and... I, pr I probably should not have played this. Uh, I, I never want to play this thing on offense. I shouldn't play this. And so I was so confused. I was like, what are you talking about? And I just kind of played that. And then I realized... That's whenever I realized uh, that's my opponent's username. <laughs> I bamboozled myself. Well, we hit the most valuable target. But then the two least valuable targets after that. <laughs> yeah. No, no, that was it was a good comment. I just I was uh I was behind. <laughs> I got I was Maybe you need a I was behind. I was like, "What?" But I got you. My bad. My bad. All right, should we play Jack or Sprayfin plus Mystic Shot? Jack may be better to lead with. Ready for a show. Hmm. The of you. This is a way to get one of them off the board now. A little surprised they didn't play the ephemeral to block, but I guess they want to play the ephemeral to attack. So we go to one with playing the salesman. I'm not going to take damage. Not when I'm at five, and they have another Doom Beast in here. Wow! So we're just dead. They just have they just have two Doom Beasts. Crazy. 
yeah, I mean, I guess the burn deck is going to struggle against, see what we draw, I guess we're going to struggle against five Doom Beasts of deal two, drain two, you know, like drain two, deal two, gain two. All right, two and two. Because, you know, like that, I guess they only played four of them. They didn't play this one yet. So that's the difference of me being at nine and them being at nine. Nine to nine. One to 17 instead. All right, Doom Bee's pretty good. And another burn deck. I don't I don't love our chances against these, these other aggro decks. Like, we're not... Get rid of this stupid get excited. We don't seem to be as good against the other aggro decks. So Salesman, you're a good blocker, but I have mis Misfortune for three. Let's see, they are going to be attacking on three. Maybe I keep you? Okay, well I love Dreadweight Deck Hand to make it rain. I'm not going to display Dreadway Deckhand on turn two, I don't think. Let's pass. Let's see, what, let's see what's up. See nothing left when I'm done. I'll buy you some time. Yeah, the Get Exciteds do like a, a certain thing of finishing the opponent, of killing them. At a certain time. This leads us both with five cards, but they're up two mana. Keep up, keep up. So that's what it does. You know, it, it helps finish the job and helps finish their nexus when you have all the other stuff. So that's why having it early isn't very good because you don't, you know, you can't finish the Nexus early. And we don't have the good discard targets like these Flame Chompers. But that's okay. Love it. Uh, what do we got? A 5-4? Let's make it deep. Let's take a real close look at the action. <sighs> Going down to eleven. No refund. Okay, I would like Funsmith in play first, but I, I do waste a mana. A little adjustment for a lot of pow. What's the worst that could happen? That's pretty bad. Love it. Immerse yourself in the gun. So we have Mystic Shot for the 6-2. We have Get Excited for the 4-3. Anything else? <laughs> so that's that's five mana. We have eight total, so we have three extra. If I want to discard this Dreadway deck hand, so three extra means we can play Misfortune. It's probably game. So how much luck do we want to try to pull off? It's either just Mystic Shot this, you know, I basically played this to be able to, to block a couple of things. You got legs. Use them. So we're either gonna just so we can Mystic Shot the crowd favorite, 
and we for sure don't die. Or I could go for the luck and go for the misfortunes, make it rain. No, because then even if they... I'd have to... Mm, it, it's probably just Mystic Shot. Yeah, it's probably just gotta be Mystic Shot. gonna make it easier to kill this crowd favorite. Oh, come on. I did, it took so much work to try to get this for this crowd favorite. We're just not, you know, like, they're, they're still at 15, we're just not close enough to burn them out. My only chance is that these are both units. The answer is yes, somewhere. Uh, that's not very good, though. Uh, 10 mana. Alright, well... Not that unit, not yet another Augmented Experimenter. I don't really see how we stay alive. Too many Augmented Experimenters, so... Um, two and three. So we, we lost to all three aggro matchups. Um, our, our deck looks pretty poor in, in the aggro matchups because the other basically the other decks would just like swarm us with all sorts of units and we just couldn't handle it. Uh, I think that you know if we did a good job against the non-aggro decks of of just burning their nexus, that's that's what our decks you know built to do is just burn the nexus. But against other aggro decks, you know like our our get excited was pretty rough of like you know being a, a two for one boom crew rookie just never trades with anything. Crack, crack shot corsair isn't trading with anything. So like we're just we're just behind all sorts of cards, and we just couldn't uh, couldn't stabilize, and couldn't uh, couldn't race because it's it's a lot easier to you know play th like three two fearsomes that attack for three, and do that over and over for just a two mana investment than you know like one get excited to do three to the nexus, you know our fun smiths not trading with anything. So pretty rough against aggro. But against non-aggro, our deck looked looked just fine, you know, burning the Nexus. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I'd appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching some Funsmith Burn, and I'll see you for the next video.